The movie opens at a military event where numerous comrades have gathered. Some are still actively serving their country, while others have retired. In one part of the event, a group of unruly soldiers is indulging in a feast, taunting the waiter by teasing him, throwing paper airplanes, and even tossing food on the floor. One soldier goes too far by grabbing a stray dog and harming it. Witnessing this, an elderly veteran intervenes. He pins the young soldier to a table and twists his arm, causing him to flee. Once the disturbance settles, the waiter expresses his gratitude for saving the dog. They then engage in a conversation, during which the old man laments about the cruelty of humans. He notes that people don't hesitate to harm others, even their own kind, while dogs, in contrast, are loyal and compassionate, always putting their owners first. Following this discussion, the old man begins to talk about his father, Volkov, leading the movie into a flashback, just before the outbreak of the Second World War in 1939. Volkov graduated with honors from the Military Air Force Academy. His exceptional skills earned him an immediate promotion to commander. However, his life took a dramatic turn when the general paid him a visit one night. It was discovered that Volkov was involved in a romantic relationship with a beautiful woman named Tatiana, who happened to be the general's daughter. The general disapproved and issued a stern warning, demanding Volkov to end the relationship or face severe consequences. Undeterred, Volkov ignored the threats and pledged his unwavering commitment to Tatiana, ready to confront any repercussions. Back in the present, the old man reveals that this decision came at a great cost to his father. The next morning, Volkov was falsely accused of indiscipline and imprisoned for two years in one of Siberia's harshest jails. Upon his release, he faced further humiliation with a demotion to forest ranger. Despite this setback, Fig had other plans for him. One day while on duty, he rescued a puppy from two wolves. Volkov named the puppy Prince, and they formed a lifelong bond. The movie transitions to another flashback, this time to the year 1943. Prince has grown into a large and fiercely loyal dog. One day, as Volkov is patrolling the forest, he is suddenly ambushed by a German spy. The situation becomes dire when the spy pulls out a knife and attempts to stab Volkov. At the critical moment, Prince arrives and subdues the spy. This heroic act earns both Volkov and Prince the respect of the Red Army. Over the following months, their bond strengthens as they play, eat, and sleep together. Eventually, when the country faces a German invasion, Volkov and his dog are enlisted in the military. Due to his earlier injuries, Volkov is assigned to the medical department. One morning, their camp is heavily attacked by German bombers, resulting in many casualties. Despite the chaos, Volkov manages to find a safe spot and then helps gather the injured soldiers, loading them onto a truck. He grabs a rifle and begins shooting at the German soldiers, demonstrating impressive skills despite years without training. However, Volkov's luck runs out when a missile lands nearby, leaving him unconscious. Just as it seems all hope is lost, his loyal dog Prince springs into action. Prince runs to the medical truck and brings back a nurse named Nina. It is revealed that Nina is Volkov's fiancé, and she instantly recognizes Prince. She rushes to Volkov's side and manages to save him. Following this incident, Volkov undergoes immediate surgery, resulting in the amputation of part of his leg. He is then transferred to the state hospital, where Nina cares for him tirelessly. Prince remains by Volkov's side, always loyal and cheerful. The affectionate canine quickly becomes a favorite among the soldiers, who enjoy playing with him. One day, Volkov is visited by his ex-girlfriend, Tatiana, who informs him that she has married another man and is living happily. Although Volkov maintains his stoic exterior, he is clearly troubled by the news. After a few months, Volkov finally recovers but now requires crutches to walk. He barely has time to recuperate before the general deploys him to the front line with Prince. The Germans are advancing rapidly, and their advanced tanks are causing destruction. Volkov is sent to a military dog training base, where other soldiers like him have been summoned. One day, Volkov learns that Tatiana has been assaulted by her husband. Concerned, he rushes to her house to tend to her injuries. In the midst of this, Nana arrives unexpectedly, and finds them in a compromising situation. Having already been suspicious of their relationship, Nana's doubts are now confirmed. Volkov tries to explain, but she doesn't listen and storms off. Later, Volkov goes to the hospital to find Nana, only to discover that she has voluntarily transferred to the battlefield front line. He also learns that she is pregnant with their child, which adds to his guilt. In the next scene, we move to the military base where the dogs are about to undergo rigorous training. The general announces that the canines will now be fed under tanks to get accustomed to the engine noises. He reveals their mission. 
the dogs will run beneath the German tanks and detonate them. The owners are outraged by this, as it means certain death for their pets, but the general threatens them with punishment if they refuse to comply. The next day, the training intensifies with dogs ordered to go under moving tanks. Volkov argues that the dogs are too sensitive for such intense noise. In response, the general grabs two puppies and throws them under a tank. The mother dog, breaking free, rushes to save them, ignoring the deafening noise, thus proving the dogs can function in such conditions. Later, the general's assistant explains that humans initially carried the bombs, but they were too slow and often got shot before reaching the tanks. They turn to dogs, which are faster and more agile. The assistant also reveals that previous attempts to train dogs to release bombs under enemy tanks in return failed because the dogs got confused, didn't respond to whistles, and dropped bombs everywhere. Consequently, they have no choice but to send the dogs on suicide missions. Hearing this, Volkov is devastated at the thought of losing his best friend. That night, he returns to his quarters in a rage, breaking objects in frustration and contemplating escaping with Prince. Before he can do anything drastic, Taishan arrives and consoles him. She kisses him passionately and reminds him of the dire situation their country is facing. According to Tatiana, Prince is not just a dog, but a hero capable of defending their country against evil. Motivated by her words, Volka decides to stay and fight for the nation. The next day during training, he grabs a bowl of dog food and dashes under a tank. Seeing this, Prince immediately rushes to save him, showing his loyalty and concern for his master rather than the food. In the next scene, Volkov and his comrades are deployed to the battlefield. The general informs them that four German tanks are approaching, making it crucial to stop them. He attaches bombs to the dogs, preparing them for the mission. However, as the plan unfolds, one of the dogs runs toward a Soviet tank. It becomes apparent that the general and his men forgot to train the dogs to differentiate between German and Soviet tanks. By the time they realize, it's too late. The dog blows up their own tank, further reducing their numbers. To make matters worse, the enemies arrive at that moment. Four German tanks and several soldiers advance towards the Soviets, or taking cover behind a small ridge. With time running out, the general orders one of his men to release his dog. Although reluctant, the soldier musters his courage and sends his best friend on the final mission. The dog skillfully dodges incoming bullets and swiftly dashes under the tank, destroying it to pieces. In the aftermath, the owner is devastated by the loss, but he understands that this sacrifice will ultimately benefit their nation. Following this, dog number two is released and successfully completes his mission. However, when it's time for the third canine, the owner hesitates. Instead, he takes the bomb himself and charges towards the tank. Unfortunately, he is immediately shot by the enemy. Witnessing this, the general impulsively runs to save his comrade, but is also struck by a bullet, injuring him. Realizing he has no hope of survival, the general bravely grabs the bomb and sacrifices himself to destroy the tank. With only one tank remaining, it quickly approaches the Soviet base. Simultaneously, the Germans launch an aerial attack, injuring several Soviet soldiers. Nina, working at the front line, is also injured. When Volkov sees her, he comes out of hiding to save her, but is shot and injured in the process. Just when it seems all hope is lost, Prince takes charge. Amidst the hail of bullets, he dashes forward and goes under the final tank. A massive explosion follows, resulting in the destruction of the enemy tank and the tragic loss of our heroic dog. Both Volkov and Nina watch in dismay as their beloved companion sacrifices himself for the greater good of the nation. The movie then shifts to the present, where many comrades are attentively listening to the old man's story. He reveals that his mother, Nina, died a few months later during the siege of Stalingrad. As for his father, Volkov, he enlisted in the Air Force and became a successful pilot, shooting down many German aircraft during the war, but ultimately went missing in 1945. The old man was then adopted by Tatiana, who cared for him like a son and shared the heroic stories of his father and prince. The End So, what do you think of this movie? Did you enjoy the recap? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. One like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video to your friends and family too. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.